using StatDisk for inferences about two proportions. This video uses the example titled, Proportion of Cars with Rear License Plates Only. Are the proportions the same in Connecticut and New York? And the example titled, Confidence Interval for Claim About Two Proportions. When using StatDisk for inferences about two population proportions, you must know the sample size n and the number of successes x for the samples from each of the two populations. For either sample, if you don't know the number of successes, but you know the value of the sample size and the sample proportion, you can calculate the number of successes by multiplying the sample size by the sample proportion, then round the result to the nearest whole number. Begin by clicking Analysis in the top menu of StatDisk, then select Hypothesis Testing from the drop-down menu. Select Proportion to Samples from the submenu. The selected item is highlighted in blue. The Hypothesis Test Proportion to Samples dialog box now appears in StatDisk. The blinking cursor indicates the input item that is currently selected. Click on any input item in the dialog box to select it, or press the Tab key to move to the next input item. Under Alternative Hypothesis, select the type of test, two-tailed, right-tailed, or left-tailed. Select the option that uses the same symbol as the Alternative Hypothesis. Select the first option, Proportion 1 not equal Proportion 2 for a two-tailed test. Select the second option, Proportion 1 greater than Proportion 2 for a right-tailed test. Select the third option, Proportion 1 less than Proportion 2 for a left-tailed test. In this example, we select the first option, Population Proportion 1 not equal Population Proportion 2 for a two-tailed test. Next, enter the desired significance level. In this example, use the default value of 0.05, which is commonly used. Proceed to enter the sample size and number of successes for each sample. In this example, for sample 1, we enter 2049 for sample size and 239 for number of successes. For sample 2, we enter 550 for sample size and 9 for number of successes. Click the Evaluate button and the results will be displayed in StatDisk. The results include the test statistic Z and p-value. In this example, the test statistic equals 7.1074 and the p-value equals 0.0000. Because the p-value is less than the significance level of 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis that the population proportions are equal. There is sufficient evidence to conclude that Connecticut and New York have different proportions of cars with rear license plates only. The results also include the confidence interval. In this example, the 95% confidence interval has limits of 0.083 and 0.118. The confidence interval limits do not contain zero, implying that there is a significant difference between the two proportions. The confidence interval suggests that the value of P1 is greater than the value of P2, so there does appear to be sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that Connecticut and New York have the same proportion of cars with rear license plates only.